Hello and welcome to A Thousand Simple Recipes. Today we're going to do a mouth-watering French pastry. Now this is something you could really wow your friends and family with and bring out as a yummy dessert or have as an afternoon tea with a cup of coffee or tea. So let's get on with this French classic, the Pear Armandine. Here we have our ingredients for our pear almondine and I've got some almonds here of course. I've got some raw sugar, some pears, a lemon, a, some egg and egg yolk, some plain all-purpose flour, some powdered sugar, some salt and some unsalted butter. And as always, the ingredients and the recipe is in the description box below. So the first thing we're going to do in making our French pastry is make the crust and I'm just going to add a 55 grams or 2 ounces of almonds there and then I'm going to add half a cup of powdered sugar or icing sugar and a quarter of a teaspoon of salt and I'm just going to blend all of those up um, until they're nice and fine bound together. So this has been blending for about a minute and a half and we've just reduced this to a nice fine powder and I'm just going to add my butter to this and turn it back on. There we go and that's just been on for about 10 or 15 seconds and that butter obviously was at room temperature and I'm just going to add my large egg yolk now to that and I'll just give that a quick blend as well. So there's another 10 or 15 second blend and we're just going to quickly pulse through our cup and a quarter of plain flour. Now the rest of this I'm just going to pull together by hand and as you can see it's it's just coming together now. Here's our pastry and I've just rounded that out and flattened it out so it, it'll, it'll be easy to roll once we pull it out of the fridge and so that's going to go into the fridge for an hour and then we'll come back and roll it out. So in the same processor I'm going to do my filling for our French Armandine tart and I'm just going to add our two-thirds of a cup of almonds, a tablespoon of flour and we're just going to blend that up. So that's been blending for about oh, a minute and a half and as you can see it's nice and fine now and I'm just going to add my sugar and I'm just going to return that on and we'll just blend that for say another minute. So that's our sugar and almonds and flour all blended. I'm just going to add the butter and blend that for another minute and there's about six tablespoons of butter there. So the last thing we're going to add is one large egg and we'll put that in and the reason you want to do the powdered ingredients first is that you want the filling to get as fine as possible. So that's our finished filling and we just put it in a bowl with some cling wrap and we're going to put it in the fridge until we need it. Here we are now and we're just going to poach our pears and we're just going to add four cups or a litre of water to a pot. We're going to add a cup and a quarter of sugar and a half a lemon or about a tablespoon and a half of lemon juice. So as you can see the uh, our poaching liquid is now boiling and I'm going to add, you can add three or four pears, if you've got really large pears just add three. The main thing is that you want to poach these for about 20 minutes or until they're tender. So once they come back to a simmer, leave them for 20 minutes, turn the heat off and let them rest until they cool. 
Here we are with our French pastry and we've got our crust here and we've just taken it out of the fridge and that's been in there for about, oh, about an hour and a half, I think. And I'm just going to put it between two pieces of baking paper or parchment paper and we're just going to roll it out so it's about a 12 inch circle or 24, 25 inch centimetre circle. And usually I'll start from one side and get, and you try and keep it as flat. And you'll probably get it down to about between a quarter and a half an inch thick, and that should be fine. So we're just about there, and that's about 12 inches round in diameter. And then I've just got a buttered uh, tart pan tray and we're just going to take the first layer of our parchment paper off and I'll just put that down and then we're just going to fold that out over the top. So here we are with our finished flan and we've cut all our holes and the sides covered and we've pressed any extra pastry into the sides and I'm just going to get it with a fork, I'm just going to pop, um, poke this so when we do put it in the oven any air bubbles should get stopped from puffing. So the main thing now is we're going to put this into uh, the freezer for 10 minutes before we put it into the oven. So turn your oven on now, preheat your oven to 375 degrees Fahrenheit or 190 degrees Celsius. So the pastry's been in the freezer for 10 minutes and I'm just going to get our parchment or baking paper that we use to roll out the uh, pastry with and I'm just going to put that into the pastry and we're just going to get, you can just get some rice or beans or lentils or something like that and uh, we just, I've, I've got a mix of rice and lentils and things that I've used for ages that I just keep in there and you're just going to put, spread that out and I'm just going to put that in the oven for about 20 minutes. So this is what you call blind baking the pastry. So that's been in the oven for 20 minutes and I'm just going to take the uh, rice and the, the beans out. So we're just going to put that back in the oven again to brown the bottom for about 10 minutes at and I've turned the heat down to 350 degrees Fahrenheit or 170 Celsius. So this pastry's just been out, out of the oven for 10 minutes now and I'm just gonna put the almond filling into the, um, the shell and we're just gonna spread that out and then I'm gonna slice my pears thinly and we're gonna put those on top. So now that we've placed our pears onto the flan, of course you could have used tin pears if you didn't want to uh, poach your own pears, that would have been a fairly quick option. And I'm just going to put this now in the oven for 55 minutes at the 350 degrees Fahrenheit or 170 Celsius. So here we have the pear almondine. It's absolutely delicious and I can tell you it's so addictive that you guys will have to try it. And that's all I have for you this week, so I'll see you next week on A Thousand Simple Recipes.